Okay, uh, so uh, shortly I will explain the workflow of uh, working for restoration and uh, announcement uh, uh, using uh, both AI and of course FFmpeg. Uh, first of all, let's uh, see uh, why this is very important uh, because uh, right now, even more with the COVID pandemic, there was explosion of archival material usage for two main reasons. First of all, um, uh, the new production has been stopped or suspended. Uh, second of all, there was uh, not too much money disappeared suddenly. And uh, last but not least, uh, by using the archival footage, uh, people in a way uh, make uh, people more uh, less hungry because uh, they show the famous uh, singers, famous uh, programs, famous things. Uh, people remember the old good uh, times and of course uh, uh, this can a little bit uh, have uh, quite effect on the population. Uh, so I observe it everywhere, explosion of uses of archival material. Also, there is a, a boom of retro TV channels. You see here a uh, few one. Uh, one of them is a little bit older. Another is a new one that appear in the, uh, after the pandemic begin. But uh, I observe that uh, right now, every country have at least two full retro channels. It means that channel that is filled only with the retro program. What does mean? Does mean that uh, the demand of the quality archival footage is rising. But all we know that uh, restoration of uh, archival footage, be it film or uh, video, is a very, very labor uh, demanding uh, thing. Uh, what this means, translated, expensive, very expensive. Uh, of course, there are some tools that can help you, semi-automatic, all we know what does, but also all we know that sometimes uh, uh, you think that you uh, clear it the, some defects, but you clear it also the head of the uh, principal hero. Or you, uh, I, I, I saw very uh, funny situation that uh, uh, they cleared some defect, but then disappear the hand of the one of the heroes. So uh, because those um, uh, restoration tool has been made using classical. Uh, mathematical things right now it's time for the uh for the new approach uh, uh it's already different approach to the every stage of the workflow process uh, so uh first of all it's bro broken by uh, activities in every activity is uh, assist you will see the in the next slide the workflow uh every activity assisted by ai uh, also, the main key, uh, uh, the, the main key principle is that all AI operation is uh, corrected and assisted by uh, human, uh, by manual uh, supplement, manual correction. Uh, this uh, get both uh, the best from both words, AI and uh, human intellect, and uh, for that reason, uh, as a result, uh, he get uh, um, very uh, fast and uh, from one part and very quality from other part. So possibilities for no is upscale, uh, which is very demanding from PAL mostly to the uh, uh, HD. Uh, defect cleaning, uh, it's mean that cleaning of trace of the time sometimes even more, but uh, I don't want to say that because there is a many people from archival community that will jump when they heard that we can do the image uh, better than it was uh, originally released. And uh, right now, announce it, please don't jump. Uh, it's mean colorization, uh, HDR. Uh, why? Because uh, the current uh, population, the current viewers, I prefer to see the things on the qu technical quality, uh, what they mostly accepted. Uh, so uh, even if we show the quality uh, of initial release, they will be not so happy. So maybe for archival purpose, we uh, save the original quality, but uh, to show right now to the mass uh, viewers, we need to uh, uh, align with the current uh, technical and uh, uh, preference standards. Uh, and reconstruction, I will talk about that. This is the new concept, we uh, uh, very interesting concept, but I will uh, talk on that later. 
uh, workflow is uh, original video material is uh, pick it up, uh, then is senalize it. It's mean that cut on the stage and the keyframe from every uh, scene is uh, pick it up. Uh, then uh, this keyframes is restored uh, also using the uh, artificial intelligence that is assisted by the uh, human. And uh, then those keyframes are also colorized if it's needed or HD made by using the, the um, uh, also the AI, but also assisted. What this mean? It mean that AI suggested the color of every part, but if I'm not happy with some colors of uh, uh, face or uh, sky or whatever, I can manually uh, retouch it uh, and uh, retouch mean just click on the face and uh, AI will know that this is the face and I select another chorus. Then back, uh, you will see that uh, we put that in directory, all these keyframes, and then uh, the, um, the AI get the keyframes and make all the material uh, to show like uh, um, those keyframes. So it's transfer style of the keyframes to the old video material. Uh, what here the role of the FFmpeg, the first stage analyzer? It's broke original footage in stress, and uh, it, there is a Python wrapper for FFmpeg. In the AI styles of transfer stage, it means that it's the most important stage. Uh, the program, also written on Python, I uh, use many things from um, FFmpeg, uh, especially uh, decomposing uh, video to frame and then back to video in order to apply the, uh, the keyframe uh, style transfer. Uh, next is uh, what can be used, uh, not mandatory, but good to be used is uh, previous stage of preparing video for such uh, uh, operation is to use uh, the interlacing. NNED is uh, the best uh, on my tests. Uh, some uh, basic noise cleaning uh, and inside AI style transfer, part of operation is uh, lung source upscaling also that is made by calling the FFmpeg uh, sub uh, program. Uh, so uh, this uh, workflow cannot be made without uh, using FFmpeg in uh, different uh, stages. And right now, uh, I'm not sure how much I, uh, time I have, but I will try to show some results uh, and uh, to show the, the future of technology, uh, more involvement of FFmpeg and especially reconstruction. Uh, what this means, reconstruction is uh, something between uh, restoration and between remake. Remake is with the new uh, stage and new uh, talents and uh, uh, restoration is with the original. Reconstruction is you get the same actors, even if they are dead and same uh, stage, even it's no more exist. And you do again the same movie by new direction. So you get uh, animated by artificial intelligence and do that. So uh, because there is not too much uh, time, uh, I will show just two examples. I will try to do that. Uh, let me check. OK, uh, this is the I hope you will see. This is the original, uh, very, very bad. Uh, right now, this is the, I will show just directly colorization. Look, that uh, colors are stable. There is no more, uh, uh, there is no more, uh, flashing, there are no more defects, everything is uh, good. And uh, most importantly, the core is uh, stable. So uh, I think that uh, you see the results of that. Uh, and uh, uh, right now there is a time for uh, questions and answers. Thank you. Thank you so much, Radoslav, for your presentation. It was a lightning talk and very clear. Are there any questions? I don't see anyone in the chat yet, but... So if there is no in the chat, maybe I do another, uh, just a few seconds of another one. Uh, oh, there, are, there, there they're coming. Um, I've got a few, uh, I've got a question from Lucy and Michael. Would be interested in compute time for the process. 
Uh, well, this is, uh, I used the uh, Google Cloud uh, to do that uh, on V100 uh, V NVIDIA. And uh, upscaling is relatively uh, quick, but uh, uh, the uh, trans style transfer from uh, keyframes is the most demanding cooperation. And those one minute, uh, sorry, 30 seconds you see here, uh, just for the style transferring, get a kind of uh, 20, 20, 30 minutes. So it's really, uh, also what we want to do right now, I forget to say, is that uh, we will train, uh, it's a very important, we will train all that uh, AI uh, subsystem uh, for restoration, for colorization, and for style transfer with archival material only, because right now the models are made by general uh, image that not fit well in the uh, this workflow. If the uh, neural network is trained with archival only uh, images, uh, the result will be ever much uh, better. Uh, this is very important to say that. Okay, thank you. And Claudia has a question. She wants you, if you can, um, she said, I don't understand exactly what you mean by core. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, core, uh, uh, sorry, which, what you? I think you, you were mentioning the core uh, in your presentation. Um, no, um, it's, I, a core maybe the core of the system is uh, uh, style transfer. A start, a gun, a gun network uh, mm -hmm. that have a style transfer. This is the uh, main uh, thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, keyframes also is restored, can be restored manually, but it is relatively slow. So they are restored uh, uh, also by AI, uh, uh, only one frame, but assisted by the manual uh, human uh, mm -hmm. assistance. It's both uh, for the uh, both for uh, both for the colorization and for cleaning. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dave has a question: Are there wish lists for development in FMPEG that would help your work? Uh, yes, uh, development of, uh, can be the following. Uh, first of one to uh, have uh, um, signalizing. Uh, this means that uh, to be introduced directly from FMPEG, not uh, need for Python uh, wrapper. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, second of all, to uh, continue the um, uh, F, uh, Fourier transformation uh, that can be applied directly to the video stream. Uh, it exists already in Image Magic for the picture. Right now, it's need to be introduced to the video stream. What does mean if you have some mm -hmm. mask, uh, FFM, uh, sorry, a Fourier mask? Mm -hmm. You apply this mask directly from the video. It means that uh, the FFM mask don't uh, transformation from uh, real to the uh, Fourier uh, mm -hmm. presentation, then masking the Fourier presentation, and they go back uh, inverse Fourier transformation to transform in video. This will be very helpful because right now it's done uh, through the um, piping uh, FFM pack through the image magic and back. But if this can be uh, because uh, Fourier masking uh, can repair uh, a much a lot of things uh, uh, in the video material by uh, directly applying the uh, Fourier uh, mask. Okay, thanks. Uh, there's just one question from Philo. Uh, do you store the enhanced versions in your archive long term? Uh, the archive versions is uh, stored in the archive versions. Uh, but this is for the current viewers. Maybe after 10 years, there will be more, uh, as I said, reconstruction. We are right now working uh, on the basics of reconstruction. Uh, so maybe next time we will have reconstruction of this movie, uh, but still the original capture should be preserved because both technology and viewers develop it. And maybe the viewers after 20 years maybe need something else. I don't know, some 3D or holographic yeah. or whatever. By the way, we uh, we made also the well, one second of holographic uh, from the uh, movie. You know, it's you see it uh, mm -hmm. like a holographic, but it's yeah. really, uh, really complicated. And uh, I think this is the subject for the next uh, no time to wait. By the way, I was to, uh, to say that everything is made with the open source Things, okay. everything. Wow, 
so so the you can find the code anywhere um uh, yes no uh, the problem is that uh, we get some things and we have our contribution to the those things because uh if they pick it originally they not work well because uh the main problem i just wish to finish with that the main problem of the community is the following people that understand well programming don't understand well the standards and uh, mm -hmm. how to say the visual the visual aesthetic and inverse people that understand very well uh standards and visual aesthetic they unfortunately cannot program so of that things appear some things that uh, there are uh, many good open source program that people that understand that that need to pick up and little bit to modify in order to fit in the standards and to uh, respect the visual integrity. So uh, this is main problem. And then appear people like me that understand both programming and uh, yeah. standards and visual that to translate from the uh, programmers to the uh, standard designers and from standard designers to the programmers. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for your elaboration. There's still one question from Victor uh, for you, uh, Radoslav, Radoslav yes. maybe you can answer that in the chat. Uh, oh, and there's another one, other question as well. So you've got a lot of questions after your interesting presentation. Thank you so much. Thank we you. Will continue.